Hi everybody, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. You guys, um, I'm in the process of making this, um, altering this purse box that I'm making for my mom. And I got this from Dollar Tree. And it used to have some uh, decorations. It was like a greenish, pinkish color. And I decided to mod podge it. And first, what I did first is I painted it underneath with white paint. Um, I gave it a couple coats. And then I put some tissue paper over it with some Mod Podge and that's what you're seeing now the pink in some areas where it's darker it's because it has two layers of the tissue paper and now i'm gonna start decorating it so you might see this in you know like double speed fast speed um if this video gets too long i'm gonna speed it up so i don't know if i'm gonna be talking if i don't talk then you will just Hear some music, okay, you guys? Okay, so um, I was thinking that I want to put some some of this Hobby Lobby Merchant Trim. It's um, this is an iron on. But I'm gonna glue it here with a 6000 and I think I'm gonna go around so it can go um, this is the cover so it used to be like that so I think I'm gonna glue this over here like so I'm gonna glue that there yeah that's what I'm gonna do and this is E6000 you guys and we can do a mix of E6000 and hot glue just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, the good thing about the hot glue is that it dries super quickly and the E6000, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So that's why we're going to do a mix of both of them. And make sure that you don't put them together. Um, so I'm putting the E6000 in the center. And then the hot glue is going to go right above it. And I have my hot glue right here. So now I'm gonna put it up here. And this is going to be for my mom, you guys. I'm gonna give this to my mother. And I sure hope she will like it. Okay, so I have cut a piece of this other trim here. It's also from Hobby Lobby. It's also the iron-on trim. Came here. This one. And I'm gonna glue it down here. So I'm gonna, that's glued at the top. And I'm gonna glue this here at the bottom. And then I'm thinking I'm going to decorate it with 
some flowers on the top like that so let's glue this now and again we're gonna do the um, E6000 I'm sorry I'm not in frame but I'm just applying the glue okay so I did the glue over there and now I'm gonna put it here there and I'm gonna leave the the pink space in between because I want some pink to show through I need to put some more glue over here Looking pretty. Okay, I'm gonna cut that around that corner over there. Okay, now I have this, and I think I'm gonna try to put some of this around here let's give it a try see if it works it has sticky in the back so that should be okay let me see center okay that looks good Let's grab another one. I think I'm gonna have to add some glue maybe underneath because if I don't this is gonna come out maybe. most likely Thank you. 
work, but I think I'm gonna have to glue that over there to make it permanent, you guys. Okay, you guys, I have been trying to figure out what I wanna do with this side here. I do not wanna keep it pink. It's uh, too much, and here you can see the underneath um, a piece where the paint came off and you can see the design on the box so I want to cover it definitely want to cover that so I was trying and I have this trim from Hobby Lobby this one it's like a holographic and I cut a stripe and I was trying to see if that would look good here on the side like that but I don't know, I think it needs more. So then I try to go over that with this lace and I still don't like it. I think it's not um, beautiful enough. I have this trim that has pearls because you guys know that I love pearls. I have such a mess here on my workspace because I have everything out to see what I want to use and I do like this uh, pearl trim here but it's going to be um, too big so that's not gonna work so now I have this little gold one but it's too many different colors so I'm not gonna go with that one either have this other trim here and it has kind of like tassels but I can still see a lot of pink so I do not want that one Everything is tangled up. I have this pink applique that I'm not gonna use because I already decided on that. I have this pink thingy, it's like a tassel, but then it's pink and I don't want more pink. So not to that. So I'm like, the only thing I have left, well, I have more trim, but it doesn't, I have more white trim. I have this tassel one also from Hobby Lobby, but it doesn't go, so I'm not gonna go with that. And I have this beautiful ruffle one. I could put it here. But I don't know if it's going to look too messy or if it's perfect. Oh, I like that. I kind of like it, you guys. OMG, I might go with this. Look. Oh, I like that. I think I might go with that. And then in the middle there, maybe I can put a string of pearl in the center. Maybe I could do that just to add some pearls. Or what I could do, oh, I did not want any more pink, but I don't know. I kind of like the effect of the, the ruffle. Can you see that? It looks pretty so I kind of like that and maybe if not I can put another one in the center of that I could do that okay so I think I'm gonna glue this ruffle thing even though I did not want any more pink I'm gonna add this thing here all around it so I think it looks super romantic and I think it's gonna go well you guys and then we're gonna add some flowers on the front cover. 
Okay, so let me glue this thing all around it and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> look at this. I think it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at that. It has the uh, raffle. And I think I'm gonna add the uh, shiny trim over here. So let's try that. Okay, you guys, so I tried the bling over here and it's too much, I think, because it already has bling over here. So that didn't work. Now, I also tried this little pearls over here, but I don't know about the pearls. I think they are too little and they don't really add a lot of um, wow factor that I'm looking for. So I don't think I'm gonna go with this pearls. So I also have this sequence and it's holographic sequence. And they're white. And I don't know about that either. See that? It's like it doesn't go with this. So what I think I'm gonna do I also have the sequence in pink over here, but I don't like it either. So I think I'm going to just leave this like this for now. And I know that I have some chain like this and I'm going to try to find it. And even if I don't add it for the collab video. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna add it later because I do want something shiny like that but not as big so I'm gonna have to find my chain and add it afterwards. So it's gonna stay like that for now and I don't know if, if I show you but I added those eyelids over here and I glue them with E6000 because I tried to set them with my uh, crocodile, and I couldn't do it because um, the box is too wide, so I couldn't get through that to set them. So I just glue them with E6000, and it's the same pink color. And I'm gonna try, I don't know if I'm gonna do ribbon or what I'm gonna do at the top yet. So now what we're gonna do is try to embellish the cover a little bit. And the back, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do at the back. But let me just clean this up a little bit and we'll look at the flowers that I have, okay? Okay, so I have this roses. These are from Michaels and they are craft smart and it come in a package of two and I think I'm gonna remove this greenery um I want that to show I just want to keep the pink not the green so I just Pulling it. Sorry, my hands are all dirty with the glue that I've been using. Um, so I like the pink right there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna add a touch of um, diamond dust to flowers afterwards. So I'm gonna put those there. I have this beautiful uh, white, like organza flowers, and they have some gemmies in the center. I'm thinking that maybe I could add some of those underneath someplace just to add some shine. I have some butterflies applique as well. I don't know if I'm going to add those. Maybe I will. But I don't know. We'll see. I also have those um, bows. and the hearts. So 
so I don't know I also have more pink flowers that I could add or I could add some contrasting colors and add some of this pretty tiny blue flowers so uh, let me just um, make a decision and start gluing and I'll be right back to show you guys okay okay you guys so this is how it looks so far um, I decided to add those two flowers from Michaels I had this uh, organza flowers with the pearls and the gemmies in the center from Hobby Lobby and also these tiny flowers over here and I decided to add a couple of those or two or three um, of those and the center of the butterfly I decided to cut a piece of this trim and add it in the center just to tie it all together and I think it looks good now I have to decide if I'm gonna do uh, what I'm gonna do here if I'm gonna do a ribbon or what I'm gonna do to hold it I actually want to do something different but I might just do a ribbon for the video uh, for our collab with Patty and then I will probably change that for something else some sort of a handle maybe with beads or something different and as well as the uh, trim that I want to put here in the center I might have to do that after my collab video because if I don't find it I'm gonna have to order something off of Amazon um, so yeah you guys I hope you like how it's looking and oh let me show you the back I decided to add a piece of the same trim in the back and I glued it with again a 6000 and hot glue so it's not gonna go anywhere it's gonna stay there forever and I also decided to um, attach another one of the butterflies in the back and the center again I cut a piece of the trim so it it's all cohesive and I do like it I do like how it's coming along I'm gonna put some diamond dust on the flowers, on these two flowers, to add some extra sparkle. I had some pearls over there just to tie it in with those pearls. So that's why I added those pieces of uh, pearl trim right there. So yeah, this is again the purse from Dollar Tree. I only paid one dollar for the purse and like I said at the beginning, I painted it with acrylic paint. I gave it two coats and then I put some pink tissue paper over it with much hodge. And um, yeah, and then I started to embellish it. So I am super, super happy. So thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I might come back after um, to do a last part of this video and show you how it came out at the end. So, but for now, I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see you soon. Bye now.